जागे 
संतन की जय सब भक्तन की जय 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 श्री राधे जय श्री राधे धर्म से ही अपवर्ग से ही धर्म से ही अपवर्ग से नार्थोर था यो प्रकल्पते नार्थ से धर्म ही कांत से लाहौर कामाय ही स्मृत एवरीबडी इन लाइफ इज फ्री टू टेक इज पाथ लाइक इन मैथमेटिक्स एवरी मैथमेटिशियन हैज फ्रीडम to solve a problem in his own way but all mathematicians have to come to the same conclusion path can be different destination same mathematicians have that liberty similarly human being also and the only is only human situation which is in problem rest everything is no problem at all so therefore it becomes very relevant for human being to search that what will make him survive safely in life because for everybody what counts is how one feels from inside towards his situation and friends and trends they are carrying away 
you know a person is carried away by friends and trends but the problem is the same trend and friend will not take care of a person's anxiety you know you cannot tell your friend i'm going to ttc for a month can you hold on to my anxiety i'll come back and take it actually that is happening because if you leave the ttc manual back here you will take the anxiety back from your friend but if you take it with you the ttc manual will soak it away because internal disturbances disturbances anxiety and disappointments all these kind of things who will take nobody will take mother will not take father will not take sister brother friends trends nobody will even medicines will not take is a temporary relief ultimately man has to have a lifestyle and the lifestyle which is livable you know, lifestyle livable like human being has reached a situation today where the lifestyle is created but is not livable to be aggressive holding aggression and worshiping two deities on the altar prophet and greed that this is the destination person cannot hold is not possible because in this path there is no full stop everybody is serving his own anger greed ego ignorance that this is this is ego that one says that what i think is right what i think is right so this demon raman in the book of ramayan and hanuman hanuman ji reached in front of the this demon which had 10 10 heads i mean if he had to go to see a movie he had to buy 10 tickets because 10 heads so he was called dashanan dashanan means who has 10 heads and he knew 64 types of classification of knowledge he could dance he could become a sculptor mathematician musician he can cook he can upset a person he can please the person and upset a person and a please a person he could do painting 64 types of classification of knowledge expert so hanuman ji reaches there servant of ram so he looks into the face of this demon and, and says that i have diagnosed your disease in the olden times also ayurvedic doctors had that power uh, look at the face diagnose the disease so hanuman ji says your your disease is that you are attached to your understanding this is your disease and i write the medication for that that you have kidnapped wife of ram sita ji does not belong to you so you give her back this is your medicine and i prescribe the rest of the life how you should live that i also prescribe the rest of the life you you spend in the service of feet of lord ram means rest of the life you serve compassion and the boundary of discipline of eight steps of yoga maryada and karuna discipline and compassion but actually it is a teaching for us that everybody attached to his understanding in life and somebody tells you what you you you, you are not right you're wrong but as i told you yesterday this is what you're doing you 
as every day you listen to the lessons in your course actually every day you are correcting yourself more everybody is correcting ignorance grows and life long if one person reads open the scripture and reads every day is correct correction is needed every day because that much stiffness again in the thought process will come the stiffness the thought is not ready to adjust because the thought has thought is a body it has to have a content imagine your stomach become a stiff problem there's no problem the other problem is the thought is a stiff but who brought the stiffness just local sense we have in our head it makes it stiff but who will bring the right content in that thought process thought only scripture jagata pitaravu vande parvati parameshwaravu as the most well wisher of a small child parents father and mother but father mother not there and even child is a big rebel you know child is quite a rebel the mother says study i will not stop the video game i will not do this i will not do not drink coca cola drink milk i will not no child is very jealous also of other children will break other children's toy child to child is very problematic situation child to parents also so shraddhaban <clears throat> labate which child will benefit who believes in the instruction of mother but difficult situation because a a, a child ask mother that who created this world the child said the mother said god so he asked that who created god so mother said that this question doesn't is not allowed doesn't exist this question doesn't exist because at one point one has to stop otherwise what behind this behind this behind this behind this it will go on so god created and behind god nothing god by itself self luminous nothing can be taken out nothing can be put in complete by itself this is the source of life and everything is coming so child says prove it mother has no capacity to prove it even what you are learning in your course if you ask your teacher prove it cannot prove ohm is not proved till today but it works it is not proved but it works the mantras nobody can prove but it works a mathematician 1920s went to england and cambridge and he had his own theories and he produced in front of the faculty of cambridge the faculty asked what is the proof from where you got all these theories so the mathematician said that i have a temple in my village of goddess devi and i worship there and the devi comes in my dream at night and tells me these she told me these theories so cambridge faculty laughed but as the theories were there so they were worked upon and they were true and it's still today though all the theories are not finished of from that mathematician is still they are placed next to the theories of newton but the mathematician said that devi goddess comes in dream at night and tells me this so this is what it is and the cambridge faculty had to accept him as a scholar but they were not accepting 
He said, this is stories we don't believe in. This Devi and Dev and God and Goddess and this and that, we don't believe. And later on it was found, when the mathematician died, it was found. Within one year he died or something, some problem, broad body. So in that village, in that temple, and all those theories, they were written by chalk on the ground because that's where he, he wrote the theories, what he remembered from the dream. So, Sarvatha Kartum, there is one, one situation is possibility, another is impossibility, third situation is beyond possible, impossible, and fourth situation is where everything is possible. But that key is in the hands of divine. That day may come, the Patanjali appears in your dream and corrects your posture. But depends how much you want. Tivrain bhakti yogain yajit purusham. But you really want this is your ambition. The Patanjali should appear in my dream, correct my pranayam. Or explain the Yoga Sutra to me. He will. But how much force we have in wanting, that's where it gets stuck. Devastating fire one should have, Patanjali will come. So, <clears throat> ambition in life, desire in life, time is passing in human life, in every individual's life. And that he has secure, safe feeling in his experience within. Whatever he has, whatever he is, how he looks, it really doesn't matter. What matters is the how he is feeling the experience of his life inside. And through that type of, from that type of feeling, a person looks at life. Many people you see, many people you see that whenever you see, look at their face, they look, they look hungry. So you ask, have you not eaten? The person says, no, I just had a nice dinner. And so many people, they always look as if they are eating good meal. And you ask, have you just eaten? He said, no, I just eat two times in a week. The people like that, you know, the intermittent is already there. You eat after 16 hours. Some people eat after 32 hours. So, some people just come out of bath and they, they, you feel that the person took bath last month. <laughs> some people you look, oh you just took bath, oh no no, I take bath only once a month. So, this is from the inner, this is from the inner a person is looking, you know, this is divine, when the Devi, Devi gun, Asuri gun, the quality, very negative qualities and very the divine qualities through the divine sphere when one looks, then that posture covers the face of a human being because the feeling inside. So hamasmi tivratti akhanda Coming to truth. The life is coming from a star. And a person says that whatever is twinkling in the stars, that's what I am. That's what I am. Because life is coming from there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You know, you know this song is there. But it's just not landed from anywhere. It landed from reality. Because that is the connection. That is the biological, physical, chemistry, chemical connection with the star. We can breathe, we can see, sit down, digest this, read Yoga Sutra, understand. But the power is coming from a star. Whatever is shining in the moon, in the sun, in the stars. And one star which is supplying to all of them, I belong to that. This is being intelligent and intellectual. This is the true identity. 
So nobody can deny it. If it is a scientific age, this is the identity. That that shine, I am. This darkness, I am not. The what is the dark darkness? Not able to connect to life. People go mad if for five minutes Wi-Fi not connecting. They reach hotel, guest house, here, there. First thing they check, Wi-Fi working. In the aeroplane, Wi-Fi working. In the train, in the bus, in the airport, in the bus stop, here, there. Wi-Fi is working not. The reason behind this is because they cannot connect to life, so at least connect to something. Family of four, five, six people go on holiday. Nobody looking at each other. Nobody talking. They're looking in their phone. Because personal connection is not there. Person, it was an old time story, like 200, 300, 500 years back when you know a thinker, philosopher is sitting and thick glass on his glasses and suddenly wife comes and he looks and, he's, and he says I think I've seen you somewhere no. because the philosopher is so much connected with the book but today there is no connection to life because human being to human being there is no connection Bypassing the human being, a person cannot connect to life. It's not possible. In Sanskrit, man is called Manav. Manav, Manav means who knows how to, how to uh, develop a relationship. How to connect man to man is called Manav, man. Man's definition would be this, one who can connect man to man. But today, man to man, disconnect. People don't talk directly by email, by text, by this. Face to face, not there. But why? The scripture says because of self-centeredness. Because of self ego, self-centered. So Hanumanji is standing in front of the Ravan, this demon. And he told him, you attached to your understanding. And you, and you return what doesn't belong to you and also that you observe compassion and yam and niyam rest of your life, rest of your life. So Ravan looks in the face of Hanumanji and he says that I think I'm not sick, you are sick. Because if somebody is sick and you tell something good to that person, it will sound very bitter to that person. Is a symptom that if you are not feeling good, somebody gives you toffee and you feel it is bitter, it is sour, problem in body. And somebody gives you sour thing to eat and you feel the sweet, also problem. Just like in anger, you know. When in anger, somebody tells a sweet thing, it sounds very sour to that person. If somebody is ang angry and other person gives a sword and says, okay, go attack. This sounds very sweet. Wrong thing. Sour thing sounds sound sweet. When there's a disease, anger. So Hanumanji, the Ravan, the demon is telling his servants that put his tail on fire. Hanumanji's. So Hanumanji did not move. He just increased his, his tail very well, like 100 miles, 200 miles, something like this. Tail was lit, but tail is going here and there and there and there. And in that process, the, the golden city, the city made out of gold, which this demon made, got burnt. Symbolic situation that when we rebel to wisdom, we will not achieve anything. We will only destroy in that retaliation what we have created. Govind Jai Jai Mil Like today's situation. Humanity only has made such a convenient age and everything. Beautiful time. Time cannot be better. Physically cannot be better. 
because everything optimum available but only human being not able to connect to what he created that is if something called if you want if one really wants to know the definition of sadness this is sadness that with lot of you know eagerness and uh, happiness you went to market and brought a chocolate but you cannot connect to the chocolate connection so this way every human being has made himself more eligible how to connect that becomes the spiritual process wherever we are in in want of connecting to life human to human that that door will only be opened by spirituality common sense cannot hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari so let us put ourselves in 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 place of the demon hanuman ji is telling him that you are attached to your understanding we are also if we are told whatever you have it does not belong to you it belongs to source of life we will never agree to this third thing rest of the life give more, give importance only importance to compassion and yam and niyam eight steps of yoga this also a person will not do and a person thinks that this is like a emotional bondage to hear what to do or not to do retaliates he will rebel some day here or there but in that anger in that fire he will only destroy his own situation means his own feeling the golden feeling which is inside brahmatvam nashitam maya sokiye naiva doshena because of one's own doing one removes that golden aura inside and then not able to connect to this life we'll chant for few minutes now param dhan radha jay radha jay radha param dhan radha jay radha amaro dhan radha jay radha jay radha amaro dhan radha jay radha jay radha amaro man radha jay radha jay radha amaro dhan radha jay regulation which the scripture gives to us they all livable and slowly slowly the understanding of human being will digest it also because he will see that the situation is getting workable what a person should buy is what makes a situation workable it is food it is a house it is whatever it is but it should can be lived it can be 
बिहेव्ड लाइक दैट और वन कैन रियली लिव इट सो वैन स्लोली स्लोली द स्क्रिप्चर कमिंग इन साइड सो दिस इज जस्ट लाइक वेन यू आर कुकिंग ए ग्रेन यू हैव टू बॉयल इट you know you for example you're cooking quinoa now you have to cook it 20 minutes slowly 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 and then the quinoa in 20 minutes it will become soft so the sadhana cooks ignorance the stiffness it goes away yadan udhyasana yuktaha karma grandhi nibandanam छिन्नि गोविदस्त को न कुरियादर इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ इज डिजायर एम्बिशन एज यू सी द रेस ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी दिस इज द टाइम वेर एवरी ह्यूमन बींग कैन फील लाइक ए किंग ए कंडीशन देयर लाइट देयर हीटर देयर aeroplane there the refrigerator is there microwave is there all means of communication and travel and everything is to the extent that you have to just think pizza in your head it will be delivered on your doorstep that convenience who gets this convenience king so when this kingly situation human being has received now what he has to do have the joy of his existence have to have the joy of his existence suppose for example you were king you were king of a country what will you do because you don't have to count money you don't have to carry money the king does not carry money you don't have to worry for anything breakfast served in your bed newspaper is there and everything is there what will you do maybe you get bored is what to do because you wish wherever you can go come back suppose you decide it i will have my lunch in tokyo come back back you can do that but how many tokyos are there they will finish also nothing new what is next so what is next your secretary will say sir you have had lunch in all the restaurants nothing left you have all kind of garments jewelry vehicles places palaces everything sir nothing is left what will come boredom but you see if a king is interested in yoga for example he can connect to nature if you are interested in yoga you can connect to nature dine dine navam namam namami nand sambhavam that connection which we have with nature but we are not able to invoke it but if we are, when we do sadhana that connection will get invoked and the boredom will not come like yesterday's yesterday's thing i told you the altar the emergence of altar in life if morning evening one takes care of altar already the 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 loneliness in life goes whom to get up for why to sleep early but just now just for example you have ttc course going on you have to sleep early why 6 o'clock alarm and you get up in the early you like you 6 o'clock maybe you don't dislike for a moment but when you reach satsang you feel good you feel good so already there is some purpose came you know morning evening but if one increases the the time of yoga then the person is living for the joy of life the difference between enjoy and joy see you enjoy the cake but after 10 minutes you will not like it 
but have the joy. But what is the reason for joy? What is the reason for joy? The reason for enjoy, the cake came on your tongue and then the taste and they're, you know, they're running, everything, the liquids are running in your stomach and everything, whatever. But what is the reason for joy? No reason. This is element. This is our element. When we sleep at night without a dream, we are joyous. We are joyous. This is our element. Kavira Sangat Sadhu Ki Jogandhi Ki Baas Jokachu Gandhi De Nahi Tohi Baas Subhas There was a saint called Kavira Das. He said that I am searching for company in life. But wherever I go, I sit with somebody. That person has he, he starts with the story of his tragic life. There is no company I can sit with because everybody has their own story. In India, literature, painting, music. It was only connected with divine. The subject matter was divine. But later on, as the time passed by, in poetry, in music, the songs came, uh, the painting also, the tragedies of life, human beings started putting tragedy of life in the poetry. So, who wants to read, who wants to recreate the reality? You know, there are something like art movies, art movies with social problems. They don't earn a lot of money. Because somebody said that what is happening outside already we don't want to go and sit in cinema hall and see it again for three hours. <laughs> Art movie recreating the reality already happening outside. That's why Disney World. That's why movies come like Avataram. You, know, you, should, you should definitely see this Avatar. You know. A kind of a movie which is out of a space, some have very divine contents also, but not regular life, you know, the whatever violence and this and that. This is already there, you know. There was a, in India, there was a, in a car, uh, and there was a family of six people going, and it stopped by a roadside restaurant. So at restaurant, there was a there was a man uh, who used to make the monkey dance in front of the people who are sitting in the car for their entertainment. So immediately he brought his monkey and the, on the bonnet of the car the monkey is dancing. And this family of six people were already quarreling inside with each other what to eat, not to eat in that restaurant. And now this mon monkey on top. <laughs> so this man got off, got fed up, you know. He rolled down the glass of the car and shouted at the monkey that why are you making this monkey dance on this bonnet of the car? Can't you see we are six monkeys inside already dancing? <laughs> we don't want the seventh monkey. Kamasya Indriya Preeti Laho Jeevet Yavata Jeevasya Tattu Jigyasa Nartho Yashcheh Karma Bihi Getting connected to life. So Bhagavatam, it says that life is actually is like a Homa. The process of Homa is this. A pit is there and when fire comes in the beginning it comes in form of smoke. But immediately the uh, offering of butter is being put on that smoke and the smoke goes away and something to breathe and something to see. Two people across the pit sitting and offering that butter on, this, on that beautiful flame and the priest is conducting the homa with some mantra. 
ओम शिवाय स्वाहा मंत्रा एस फॉर माय गॉड फॉर दिस लाइफ आई आई बर्न माय ईगो इन दिस फायर दिस इज द फिलोसफी ऑफ होमा द फायर इज कॉल्ड सेक्रिफिशियल फायर ए फ्लेम द लाइट और विजन व्हिच कम्स आउट of the sacrifices being put on that fire symbolically also it means that everybody in life in their past they have lived 20 30 40 years with their habits you know and the habits have become very thick rope today what is what is the problem between two in life oh this is my habit this is my habit but also this possibility that in the moment peace shanti most important like you see that sometime wife and husband they quarrel they fight on the shout on each other uh, suddenly the wife comes up and she says that please now keep quiet for god's sake maybe she is not religious but it is a sentence you know expression Be, keep quiet for god said but unknowingly she spoke truth that if you question yourself the by observing yoga i become self i cover myself with a sheet of self discipline why for whom or for the peace in the moment for the peace in the moment the divine is in the atmosphere if i have any disturbance inside it it disturbs the divinity in the atmosphere in the moment that is the reason for that reason whatever have been my habits but i born in this fire so it is called sacrificial fire so the homa is going on and suddenly one person sees the other person is saving his butter so he complains to the priest priest says that you if you want this light this vision and breath in your chest you keep on doing your duty other person doesn't know that when he is not true, true truthful in his duty the darkness is already in the making for him is a matter of time so this sadhana pattern this all the sadhana pattern of yoga this is like purification every day every day burning of the wrong the ignorant things we have inside every day burning because there is agni there is fire you do asana fire pranayam fire philosophy sanskrit this that everything it is fire and it burns the ignorant situation inside our understanding the moment the ignorant habits are gone between the two the connection no problem between us and nature no problem because there is a magnet what is the if there is a magnet sitting somewhere strong and then there is a small metal pin what is the destiny of that pin it is going to get attached to the magnet cannot escape cannot escape but if there is a thick rubber on that metal pin magnet cannot do its job so all that ignorance enveloped our understanding ignorance it does not get us pulled towards nature towards the other human being and the element of joy is not shining in we only see life in the light of joy not in the light of enjoy because then we can breathe also we breathe and we see we feel fulfillment purnata purnoham is mo sutra in the upanishad i am complete i am absolute 
but again this is anirvachani this is non describable but not beyond the boundary of experience the scripture says you want to connect human to human never see others shortcomings and never discuss other shortcoming with anybody else purpose is human to human connect but this becomes a past time for human being so till the time we will look at life through the eyes of ego we will only criticize and try to pull down the other person how connect can come the purpose everybody has is that how much other person can fit in my convenience but the right way is that how we can fit in the convenience of shanti because precious is the feeling how it comes how much we fit in the mold on of peace shanti that much more we can connect with each other with joy with life with nature with fulfill with, with fulfillment because the issue is about fulfillment looking at life through the eyes of ego <clears throat> everybody wants to control and possess everybody but the right way would be that the sense of belonging the sense of belonging who belong what whatever it belongs to whom creator of life source of life simple logic so one wife one husband every saturday fighting so they went to a consular marriage consular we don't want to separate but we are fighting every saturday but we don't want to separate we want very good connect with each other harmony so the consular was you know he had done ttc somewhere so he had other tendencies also spiritual so he said i can give you some advice but you have to come out of my office because in this office i can only give you professional advice so they went out of the office and the consular said you see i can tell you something which you can experiment if it works you carry on that every saturday evening and you must be knowing the time when the tension grows between you two one hour before that hold your hand each other's hand look into your eyes each other's eyes and tell each other that i don't belong to you you don't belong to me but we both belong to shanti or we both belong to harmony let's say try this if it works and come after a month after four saturdays come back so they did that i don't belong to you you don't belong to me but we both belong to shanti harmony and it worked it worked and they are still happy very well connected harmonious relationship everything but the moment truth is being truth is in practice the situation becomes workable that is the evidence that this is truth that is the evidence otherwise who is going to put a stamp that word that this is true or this is false hari krishna hari krishna krishna but satyam param dhimahi that couple only repeated the truth truth everything come from one source and between this human being is the fight only for possession i will not behave according to you and you don't behave according to me but we both will behave according to yoga sutras let's say top this is the top because if we make a central logic in our life that i have to survive very healthily in my emotions in my brain in my body let's say this is the central logic 
and it should be now go one step behind what i have to do what i have to do what i have to do why you learned in yoga sutra because there is nothing else everything else has been tried doesn't work even in your own life that a person will step in the area of wisdom the scripture says that can be three four reasons just one is curious what is happening here or one is knowledgeable from the past that this is the path or one wants money and he says maybe by doing this i can earn some money and the fourth is there is some problem inside the thoughts of a human being he wants to clear it he is wanting harmony and he said let me try this because i have tried everything else but it's not like an alternate medicine it is the medicine it is not alternate it is the medicine and you feel it hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari somebody says i am fed up of my things somebody says i am fed up of my place taking care of my place somebody says i am fed up of my relationships well if you are fed up just give it up throughout the relationship place and things i don't want to throw but i want to have harmony between my things my relations and my places how to do very simple this place these things these people they not mine i don't possess i don't control they are possessed and controlled and owned by the source of life this acceptance that fed up will go somewhere it will disappear because the only bondage thing in life is the moment we say mine and liberation is the moment we say not mine if not mine then who's source of life it's one a small remedy for all the solutions in life but the hardest thing is only this that if a person says not mine is way and therefore sadhana and therefore a scripture fitting in the mold of wisdom being joyous in life hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari once upon a time there was a king whose name was uttan pad and he had two wives one wife's name was suruchi suruchi means like and another wife's name was suniti suniti means righteousness so one day when king is sitting in his in his chair the children from the wife called suruchi likes they come there playing in the lap of father that very moment one child from the other wife righteousness suniti his name is dhruv his age is 5 years he also comes he also wants to get into the lap of father so step mother comes and pulls him down and he says if you want to go in the lap of your father you better go and chant the name of god and god is 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 uh, compassionate on you and he sends you through my body then you can go in father's lap otherwise not so a small child started crying 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 he goes to his mother seeing the child crying the mother also started crying but immediately she thought that because of something my child's ego has melted that's why he's crying let me ask so child told the reason step mother said like this for a moment 
His mother felt very bad, but then again she thought that this is the right time. On a melted ego, I should put the right impression for him for life long, which will help him. So she said, "O Dhruv, O my child, you do not look in your stepmother's face, her face. Look at the face of divine in the face of your stepmother, as if divine told you something." or look at time in that face time told you something or life told you something because when somebody suggests or advise or say something bitter you will become allergic if you look at that face in that person but if you look at divine in that face that the same bitterness will turn into a blessing for your life she saying oh my child that behind every rejection of this world is the invitation from divine sitting in your heart come towards me i accept you as you are but this is freedom in life independence liberation i am not seeking for invitation from this world i am eternally invited by the source of life in my heart So if your sister mother has said go and find divine you go and find divine so is warrior class and both mothers said find divine so dhruv leaves the palace and he is going out to find divine so on the path he doesn't know he is just going here and there in jungle so one sage narat comes and says where are you going so he said the reason so sage narad is saying that don't mind what your mother your mother step mother told you this is not your time to play with divine this is your time to play with toys he's trying to confuse him he's testing him you come with me to market i'll buy you nice chocolate i'll buy you nice ipod ipad and video games you know you can see whole day this is the age for that not for that don't be upset so this is very beautiful teaching that the when child gets upset when parents you know fill the mouth with chocolate or give lead, you know open some cartoon on the tv or this that because who has time for child today no time because parents themselves are very stressed because in between fighting parents to children no connect because mother and father have no connect but dhruv dhruv means that who is fixed on his purpose he said don't don't mislead me don't mislead me if you if you telling me the destination what divine otherwise leave my way so say nara examined the boy from all sides so he said that you go to this place called madhuvan and there you chant this mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya you chant this mantra and you will get what you want so dhruv goes to this place by river yamuna gets up 4 o'clock in the morning takes bath standing on toe or one foot and he is chanting but his small child he chanted for 3 days and he gets hungry so he saw there was bitter fruits lying from the tree he eats bitter fruit and again chants om namo bhagavate vasudevaya out of 6 days the fruits are finished so eating grass and chanting after 9 9 days he is drinking some water and chanting and after 12 12 days he is drinking some air and chanting like for example when you have 2 hours yoga class you are drinking air you are drinking air and doing your class the prana is coming from air when you drink pranaya is from air वायु भक्षो जित श्वासो एंड वेन चैंटिंग वॉज कंप्लीट दैन डिवाइन एपियर इन द फ्रंट सो ध्रुव लुक्स 
with that beauty he is amazed and he wants to praise the beauty but five years old child formation of sentence is not there so divine give a touch to the cheek of dhruv because our speech is in the cheek a very sensitive area so wrong things never put in your cheeks because the speech lives here a very delicate area so dhruv says i bow down to this divine who invoked my sleeping speech i can speak now in beautiful stanzas he praises the beauty of divine so divine is saying the dhruv you did all this tapas to go in your father's lap so dhruv said it is true when i left the palace this was truth but since i have seen your lap you are everything to me now you are my father mother learning you are my uh, wealth everything to me was our mamma dev dev so dhruv recognized because in the past life from the past lives he used to chant a lot mantras and in this life in 5 years only he big his insight was so mature that he understood that this is the place like many many young young monks they went to himalaya never came back because immediately they understood this is the lap this is the place so divine becomes very happy he says rule this earth for 36000 years dhruv said that i didn't want to go back i wanted to go with you but since whatever is your wish i will do that dance is mine wish is yours but the problem is that to 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 spend 36 hours is become so bit difficult it becomes so difficult because you see this three is looking one side is looking south and six is looking north if you see the, the faces of the number three is looking left and six is looking right and that's how people sit you know one is facing this side and is not facing each other so how to spend 36000 years there's already a disconnect in 36 years 36 hours 36 minute 36 second 36000 because if there is a human to human connect no problem any amount of years no problem human to human no connect problem so dhruv says for that connect i want your blessings i want some power from you and that is that i want that the the happiness the joy of my chest should become like a flower which is still blooming in the time of fall on a tree whether it is a morning of meeting or separation or night of separation but that smile of joy i want all the time in my chest whenever my speech opens it should glorify you or divine not my ego this is the blessing i want this is the control i want on my tongue and dhruv said that i am so weak when i see a beggar i hate the beggar when i see a friend i feel love when i see an enemy i'm angry so can you please do something that in a beggar in an enemy and in a friend i look at you so divine said that's what will happen so if we look at that divine invoke the truth in everything with in a compassionate and in in a butcher the same lips in an ignorant and a ugly and a beautiful the same lips this is wisdom whenever we open mouth you know ishtu mile aur man mile aur mile bhajan ras reeti miliye ta hi nisank hai tin so kariye preet what kind of friend circle we should find where there is a talk about om about chanting beat about asanas 
about the pranayam, about the philosophies of yoga, because this is life story. Why? Because this is life story. This is the highest entertainment if one person gets connected between each other and with life. Highest entertainment. Nothing. This is the movie. This is the poetry. This is the picture. This is the literature. Because human, this is human element. But he has to live it. Na mite na fiki pade kabhi Mujhe wo madhur muskaan do I want unfading smile of joy. Wherever my tongue opens, should get engaged in discussing or telling about you. And I see you in a beggar, in a friend, and in an enemy. So this way I can connect with life. We got the blessing. But this is what we want also. That's what we are hearing. You know. We want this also. Same. It will work. Dhruv took the blessing, came back and ruled this earth very well connected, 36,000 years. And later on went in the sky and established himself like a, there's a star called Dhruv. And there's a longitude, latitude, north star. You know, this is not always follow the north star, north star. This character to be followed, you know, that's the destination. You can see it 4 o'clock in the morning. The longitude, latitude, Dhruva stars, there. Suniti and Suruchi, we have two tendencies, righteousness and our likes. Follow righteousness, 99%, 1% likes. So likes become entertaining also. If 99% likes and 1% righteousness, even the likes will lose the power to entertain you. Govind jai jai mero gopal jai jai Things to learn in this life, <clears throat> how to remain non-attached in the middle of everything. The only way is one should focus, uh, here I am and that's there, whatever happening is divine. This way, there's a combination of two. In the middle of the crowd, one will not get attached to any situation. Never try to prove a point. If somebody tells you God is one, is yes, God is two, very true. Somebody says God is 51, the more the better. And the fourth says that there is no God, there is no need to argue. This is your understanding, this is my understanding. Let's look at sunset and coffee is getting cold in this argument. The God is there or not there. 
because both can hold their hand enjoy coffee one can one is free to look at life this way another can because, but this freedom a person doesn't get but one person can say that both can say that we are mathematicians we are solving life our own way reaching will be same point let's not make the coffee cold no that's important because coffee is suffering the sunset is suffering because human to human they are proving point never cut anybody's argument do not try to prove yourselves also in the middle of 10 people sit like an ignorant when needed to speak then again become quiet one has to learn that <clears throat> what is brahmachari that give importance to heart not to mind and brain so much observe non violence all the time what to read what to practice in sadhana one should always ask the teacher not by yourself because everything is available on the book bookshelf but guidance is very necessary because your teacher knows your pulse like is a rule that never self medicate never so similarly ask the teacher which mantra i should chant what book i should read ask the teacher my friendship is like this should i follow or not <coughs> also in friendship there should be a space where you can say no to certain things otherwise to please friend you know to please friend one will do ignorant things because that becomes a bondage once upon a time and in a bar somewhere is a story published in a newspaper and this man used to come and every day he will drink six glasses or drinks whatever it was intoxication so six glasses only so bartender one day said sir what is this six number so he said that you see two for me and two are for one my one of my friend i have in australia and two glasses for i have a friend in tokyo so this was going on suddenly one day he tells the bartender that only give me four glasses now on so he was surprised he said where did the two go the two glasses he said the thing is that i have stopped drinking <laughs> oh you understood very fast <laughs> oh very fast but i still what to do i have to please my friends one in tokyo one in australia but i don't drink anymore so <clears throat> my friends are smoking i'm inhaling no need to inhale so we have to ask teacher what kind of friendship how much to bend down in friendship in this time the power is in chanting sit down in front of the altar and chant whatever the mantra your teacher has given chant the mantra immediately divine incarnates on your tongue you know the tongue purification or purification of tongue is very necessary because all the toxins are sitting here and whatever we do they do not go because the thought has toxins but chanting the divine name is the clearance you know it it clears and immediately when tongue is clear then the whole purification in this body is magic the chanting is magic it has power in today's time it saves you time you don't have to digest it you see that if you are reading a heavy philosophical book you have to understand it yad balam nasti tapasana yogen samadhina tad balam labate samyak kalau ke shav kirtanat scripture says that very quickly you chant and quite a lot of 
benefit which you get by a long samadhi or long yogic practice you get five minutes of chanting but doesn't mean that you only start chanting and don't do other practices is not meaning that but it is because you're chanting name and that loud that it is going through your ear going inside this much this much you have to listen definitely because when it goes inside it does it spreads the mechanism of scripture all instructions are given to all organs accordingly whatever they want that specific every cell is repaired Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dasoham Tavkeshava This is one mantra. I am servant to love consciousness. Om Namo Narayana And this mantra will mean that all my karmas of all variety should be for the for the for the pleasing for the pleasure of divine in my heart not for the pleasure of craving in my mind and ego in my brain so is is a set dasoham tava keshava number 1 i am love i am servant of consciousness om namo narayana repeat one after another your your persona your intention is clear dasoham tava keshava om namo narayana i told you meaning of both and this is this is the ground where a person has to stand otherwise he is just being a servant to ego and he is just serving trying to please ego and craving it is mind and brain hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari look at this air the air is never attached sometimes it is good smell sometimes bad smell air go further no smell this is not attached when do you pranayam when do you when you do pranayam think about this element of air and say to yourself that life is not good life is not bad but life is this is non attachment air this is the air quality and everybody is dicking earth but earth is still giving tolerance and water is so humble but nothing can stop it humbleness greatest power look at fire this is all 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 the time it is specific it does its job and disappears be specific how that being specific will come follow the sutras this being specific pinpoint it look at sun it takes all the water in the sky but later drops it also not attached life will come inside us let it go also when it wants to this is freedom look at this moon sometime it's old sometime new moon and sometime no moon but never noon never takes birth is never old never young nothing is a physical angle moon does not have its light also is a processed sunlight similarly when we have a physical identity i'm old i'm born and i'm dying but it's physical angle but i'm soul in me the the light comes from absolute just like moon this is the connection look at ocean never crosses the boundary doesn't go up in monsoon does not dry up in summer time that should be the feeling atmosphere of human being look at honey bee takes millions of flight and make maybe makes one spoon of honey but honey hunter comes and takes away everything in one moment 
Similarly, we are also taking millions of light and one kg, two kg, whatever we will make. But the hunter, honey hunter, the time is after us. It will take it away. Wherever we hide, it will take it away. With that sense, if one accumulates, then no problem. Look at fish. Fish is swimming with open mouth and gets hooked. One food, it had a hook. So similarly, don't bite everywhere. Don't speak everywhere. We listen to listen to scripture, and the desire gets destination, training, guidance. Does not open his mouth everywhere. Look at children. Look at child. Five children. They fight each other. Now opposite sides but then they are bored in two minutes is how to play you know it is no good we are fighting so the return shake hands they start playing simplicity of a child a child is making a castle out of sand by the ocean and dropping from here and there again and again but child doesn't give up the child doesn't give up the effort of a child and simplicity of a child if it comes up in an adult just imagine the power therefore serving this baby krishna on the altar these qualities transferred a poet is there he said that there is a child inside me but doesn't want to grow up never because if the child grew then lose its simplicity. Adult will lose its simplicity and its effort. Balam Mukundam Manasa Namami. So a stanza of meditation for meditation came up that when Mother Yashoda said that why only my lab? My child should go to every lab. The more blessing of love he will find, the more he will grow in life. Why only in my lap? Every lap. Listening to this, Krishna lies down in the lap of Mother Yashoda and sucking his toe. He became blissful. Blissful. And a meditation maker says, I, I meditate upon this blissful act that the love consciousness is sucking its toe. Means blissful. Lying in the lap of sacrifice and surrender. I bow down to this posture. Bliss is blissful. The child never wants to grow. The child sitting on the altar will never grow. And keep the effort and simplicity on one who meditates on him. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Everybody should make it a is law that whatever is going through the five senses inside but we should contribute to the joy for divine in my heart This is this is the and that's what the yam and niyam, the eight steps of yoga, pointed towards that. Even without knowing these things, we do eight steps, they will lead us to that point. But it is nice if you know, if you have some knowledge about painting and then you look at a beautiful painting, it becomes a very joyous act. If you know a little bit about music and then you listen to nice music, and it gives you different joy, you know, different experience. Then looking at painting becomes experience. Listening to music becomes experience. Similarly, when we listen to discourse with these details, then living life becomes an experience. And a person says, one lifetime not enough. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi janani jathare shayanam. What if that experience is not there? 
we are dialoguing with life then one says every time coming to the you know i am giving pain to mother mother is giving pain to me the birth time pain is not good stop it but when with the experience that 1000 lifetimes the pain is worthwhile you know the birth time pain is worthwhile the one has paid repaid to the mother because it's a debt because mother held the child so long in this body and gave birth and that pain what the child has repaid but the child comes in the in the in the mold of the scripture and able to connect to life and have joy and have the experience that experience in life through the scripture the mother says i am being paid the debt is paid गोविंद दामोदर माधवे ती गोविंद दामोदर माधवे ती गोविंद दामोदर माधवे ती गोविंद दामोदर करार विंदे न पदार विंदम करार विंदे न पदार विंदम मुखार विंदे विलिवेशयम श्रीमदयशोदगत प्रसन्न बालम मुकुंद मनसा नमामी बालम मुकुंद श्री कृष्ण नाथ नारायण वासुदेव नाथ नारायण जिव बेव स्व मृत में देव जिव बेव स्व